Hello and welcome to the first of a few videos from Strongy UK showcasing its new commercial system. Today I intend to take you through what's on the home screen and also the nomination screen. Hopefully this will give you some idea of the way the system works and allow you to give us some comments back so that we can make improvements before we go live. So starting with the home screen, it's split into two parts. On one side we've got the operational information, on the other side, the right hand side, we have information about available capacities. Up here across the top, as you can see, we've got maintenance taking place shortly. Today is the 6th of July, so as the maintenance is not today, but is coming up, this is marked in yellow across the top of the screen. You can click on more details here to see exactly what the reductions are on each particular day. And if I go back to the home screen, here we can see that we've got one contract. If we had more, we could select this, drop down and choose another contract. As we've got the one, we should go into there and view it. So one of the key requests that we've had from pretty much the beginning has been to have stock easily available and easily readable. So the first item that you can see on the screen here is the current balance at the end of the last day. You can also click through here to see how that has changed over time. Second, we have the nominations. So our current nomination of firm capacity is 12 gigawatt hours. Our current Yuli nomination is 10 gigawatt hours. And we have a total of 22 gigawatt hours. There's a quick link here to take you through to the nomination screen. Hopefully just to ease you along, make things that bit easier. I scroll a bit further down here we've got scheduling notices if nominations are cut back for any reason then a notice will appear here primarily that's going to be Yuli perhaps there'd be a maintenance cut back if you hadn't realized that maintenance was on but all of those will be displayed here and you can click through here into the reporting screens to see more information on the right hand side of the screen as I mentioned we've got capacity so we've got two types of capacity available, unbundled capacity and Yuli capacity. Unbundled capacity allows you to purchase additional injection or withdrawal capacity on the day or in advance, depending on what is available within this table. The quantity available is here and the price is here. It's priced in pence per therm and we display the amount in kilowatt hours. Um, if you've got any feedback on that, we'd certainly appreciate it. However, this has been the way that we have priced things in the past, so hopefully it's workable for you. Unbundled capacity is additional capacity added to your firm rights. It doesn't work in the same way as Flow Plus. What it does is give you the capacity. You choose to use it via nominations. So further down here, we've got the link to take you to the screen to purchase the capacity. And I'll cover purchasing capacity in a separate video. So if we go down to Yuli, Yuli is slightly different. It's the use of interruptible capacity. And as you can sh see, it shows the within day quantities available and the day ahead quantity available. Because we want to be able to access the interruptible capacity quickly, then we're not proposing that you click through and buy the capacity as you would with the unbundled capacity. What you do is click on here and it will take you straight to the nomination screen where you can make your nominations. So. Having said that, let's go to the nomination screen. So, as I just said, we've got two nominations today. One firm capacity of 12 gigawatt hours, one Yuli capacity of 10 gigawatt hours. On the right hand side here, you can see your maximum injection and withdrawal limits for both firm and interruptible capacity. The stock balance is also noted up here, just to make things that bit easier. And the price of Yuli is covered down here. So, if we want to change or make a nomination, then we need to fill in one of these boxes here, and then click on Nominate. What we have introduced is an additional forecast button that allows us to change or to view the change to the nomination before we actually make it. So, for example, if I want to now 
I'll do oh, six gigawatt hours. I shall click on forecast. And we get a warning displayed here that this is a forecast and that you need to click nominate to place it as a nomination. And on the graphs below, we get a breakdown of how that nomination will work during the day. As you can see, we show the delivered quantity per hour and the total cumulative quantity delivered throughout the day. Now this is done for firm on one graph, Yuli on the second graph. Each item in this graph can be switched on or off. So if you just want to see the hourly delivery and how much is available per hour, you can click on that. If you just want to see what your available capacities are on the graph, then you just switch off those two lines and the graph should auto scale to show you the information you desire. So that's our forecast. Maybe the graph doesn't give us enough information. So if we scroll further down, what we have is a breakdown of that same information as a table. Uh, this table is programmed in such a way that you should just be able to select what you need from it, do a copy and drop it into Excel and the formatting will remain constant. So we have our forecast, we've decided it's good, so we can nominate. If we decided it wasn't good, we can click on reset and that would return the figures and the display to the original displayed graphs and numbers. So we think the graphs are f a fair bit more useful when we look at them within day. Uh, so if I go back to a day where we made a change. So this is the 3rd of July and what we have here is a display showing an injection and then a reversal of that injection and this shows you quite clearly the quantities injected per hour for injection and then the quantities for withdrawal later in the day and again if you need the information numerically it's visible down here. I should say this table shows both the firm capacity and the Yuli capacity separately. So returning to today's date for the nomination, what I should point out in terms of the unbundled capacity is when you do add some unbundled capacity that is added to this firm capacity here. So any additional rights bought within day or day ahead will be added to the appropriate day for you to use. Now, that was a very quick overview of our nomination screens. Um, we'd appreciate any comments to commercial at storeng.co.uk. Constructive ones, please. But uh, yeah, it, our aim here is to improve the system Please bear in mind it is a test system, so you may see some strange things happen on it. But hopefully we got through this demonstration without anything odd happening. Um, we appreciate any feedback that you can give us. And I hope you will join me for the next video in this series. Thank you.